This is a demonstration illustrating how to geotag images and photos using Google's Picasa image management software and Google Earth. The first step in doing this is to get the photos you want to geotag in a folder together. In this case, I've taken a sample of over of 11 photos out of literally hundreds of photos in our study area in the Holly Creek watershed in Georgia. For each of these photos, I have a GPS point that corresponds with each photo based on the photo ID, S125, S126. This data is stored in a geo database, and I exported out the sample GPS points to go with the sample images to this KML file that can be loaded into Google Earth. This will allow us to very precisely locate these images. So for this demonstration, I'll use Google Picasa, Google Earth, and a GPS file in KML format in order to locate the images. If you don't have a GPS file, you can still geotag images using this methodology. You just won't be able to get the exact location unless, of course, you know exactly where to put them. You'll be eyeballing it. So from here, we go to Picasa and we add the folder to Picasa that has the images. Here you'll see the geotag demonstration folder and you see the checkbox beside it. We've told it to scan once so it will scan this folder one time. We could tell it to scan always and it would scan the folder every time we open Picasa. In this case we'd already added the folder and basically what this does is this geotag demonstration just references this folder on the hard drive and indexes these images within Picasa. It does not actually store the data. The images are stored on the hard drive. It just indexes them and gives you other tools like the ability to geotag. So let's do that now. From the tools drop down you go to geotag and geotag with Google Earth. Here you'll see Google Earth opening and it will open and put the Picasa tagging crosshair in the center of the country. This is Google Earth. You can see here we tag first image here. Now we that cross we think the image is and geotag a GPS file in KML format, we'll use it to more accurately locate where each of these images is. And if I double click one five, Google Earth zooms to point and from bag that inch. Now I'll just twenty six. Where then? image goes down the line here and I can just and geotag that image That image (laughs) 
but it seems to be working. What I may do to finish this demo is to go on and click done. And you can see it's adding images to Google Earth. So there now we have these images geocoded. I did purposes. Casa, and I'm going to upload these to a web album. Now, create EML fine, except for these images exist on my hard drive here, so it's hard to share the KML file that references images on my hard drive. So, what I'll do is I'll create a web album need to sign in I guess I should be signed in I'm gonna create a new album geotag demonstration put a description for Holly Creek give it to the public click OK and here it is uploading these images This should not take too long. And while it's uploading, we'll go back over here to Google Earth and look at our pictures. We'll see if you zoom in close enough and click on you'll see the image in Picasso. Again, you can do that here. And it makes a nice visual display of this uh, survey that was done in Holly Creek. So from here you can look over at this side and see that these images have been geotagged. From there you can also look at Picasso here and you can see this little crosshair means it's been geotagged and this arrow means that it's been uploaded. So from there we've got almost all of the pictures geotagged and uploaded and from there all you need to do is share your KML file. To do that you can just email the KML file to the person you'd like to share it with and there they can look at your images geotagged in Google Earth. Alright, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.